wouldn't be nice, my friend, if that was just some sort of strange, disgusting insect someone might unexpectedly find on you. You're walking down the street and some passerby suddenly stops you. Carefully he extends just two fingers of one hand and he says, excuse me, may I? You, my dear sir, you have death on you. And with those two fingers, he flicks it off and flicks it away. That would be wonderful, <laughs> wouldn't it? But death is not some horrible insect. Many of the people you see walking around happily and calmly may be carrying it on them. No one notices it. And still, they are quietly and happily planning what they will be doing tomorrow and in the day after. Look, I'll show you something under the light. See? See that pretty violet nodule? Do you know what's called? <laughs> Such a soft word. Softer than caramel. Epithelioma, it's called. Pronounce it, and you see how soft it is. Epi epithelioma. Death. You understand? Death has passed my way. She planted this flower in my mouth and said to me, Keep it, my friend. In about ten or eight months, I'll be back. Now you tell me, how can I, with this flower in my mouth, stay quietly and calmly at home, just like that poor woman wants me to? I scream at her. I suppose you'd like me to kiss you? Yes, kiss me! You know what she did? Last week she got a pin and she scratched herself right here in the lip. And then she grabbed my head and she tried to kiss me. Kiss me in the mouth. Because she says she wants to die with me. She's crazy. I will not stay at home. I feel the need to stand at shop windows, yes, to admire the skill of the clerks. Because you know, if I find myself for one minute only faced by the void inside me, you know, I could easily out of nothing, finish the life of some total stranger, pull out a gun and kill someone who just like you has unfortunately missed the train across my way. No, don't worry. I'm only joking. I better go now. I'll, I'll kill myself if I ever... If I ever...